Cheers. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? Good. So we're back with another episode of Monday Oddity, and uh, we're picking a tequila, which I don't know that we've done a tequila in a while since. It's been a, quite uh, a while. Like uh, De Chihuahua we did not too far back, but um, we haven't done one. And this one is the uh, 100 Año. So if you like tequila, make sure that you uh, hit the like button and go ahead and share the video because that would be really great for us. Um, but this is the Años Tequila. It's from the Sousa um, Company Distillery. So Sousa is out of uh, northern Mexico somewhere. And they have a lot of products. This one is kind of hard to find. Um, you have to really delve it into their webpage to find this the particular one. And I don't know what the deal is. This is um, some sort of like store brand, you know, a store pick or what, but it took me a while. They do have a, a nail, um, so a little bit of an aged one, but this is their Blanco, their silver. It's 80 proof, which I don't know. I guess we need to investigate tequilas more. That's Because I don't think I've ever seen a tequila higher than 80 proof, unless it's a high end, like a Patron. Yeah, I think that's a kind of Pretty typical. standard. Uh, it is $20.99. Not too bad. 30 bucks. Yeah. That when tequila, you can get a lot cheaper, but then it's a lot more. And you can get a lot Wake more up not remembering what you did. And you can get a lot more expensive stuff, too. So. Way expensive. In fact, Sometimes tequila is more expensive than scotch because they d they do some amazing stuff with bottles in tequila, like hand painted bottles and weird shaped bottles and all sorts of cool things. Um, and it's almost a a rabbit hole if you start collecting tequila bottles. You'll well, never end. And the thing is, it's like I guess it was like the eighties and nineties. Tequila was kind of just like uh oh, tequila. And you could just get it for cheap. And then like in the late 90s and 2000s, there was the tequila boom. Right. Where everybody wanted the so, tequila. So that's when the price just Back in up. the 80s, when I was in high school and went to college the first time, <clears throat> I would get tequila um, because it was like four so, bucks a fifth, which was about six or seven bucks cheaper than vodka or whiskey or anything like that and that was before the big whiskey boom but tequila was the cheapest stuff now sometimes it's not that cheap <laughs> yeah and then the thing is with tequila there was the boom <coughs> and then they had like one year of failed crop mm -hmm. which nobody could make tequila and so the price just like skyrocketed after well, that and, and i think they just kept the price up because it was like oh Everybody I, I truly it. think that tequila becomes super popular once the uh, margarita craze hit in the 90s. Because uh, even though there was margaritas, obviously, in the 80s, it wasn't that big of a thing. So. No, something happened. Well, I, I, don't think, re I don't remember the 90s. I think, so, no. <laughs> yeah, true that. <laughs> I think uh, tequila is mirror mirroring um, the rise of uh, whiskey in the 90s and early 2000s. I think all whiskeys are, or all uh, liquors are, because even rum yeah, even and vodka, vodka and yeah. stuff, everything is just like, everybody just, it used to be just, oh, there's liquor, let's drink it, and then it became, oh, let's be connoisseur of liquor. Right. So this is made in, well, uh, I was going to say something really stupid, because I don't know Spanish. It says Hecho in Mexico, and I'm pretty sure that says made in Mexico. Mex yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go to Mexico. I was just seeing if we're, if there was any type of age to this night. I doubt highly because it's a Blanco, but um, so I left that blank. So it's a no age statement. But I'm pretty sure all tequilas are made in northern Mexico because the agave is like a cactus, mm -hmm. basically. So a lot of the times with tequila, I mean, you get that strong agave smell, that sweetness. Uh, smell to it and then sometimes you get a lot of peppery to it and this has a lot of pepper a, to me a dark like black peppery smell yeah and like the cheaper stuff you get a lot of alcohol stuff but and there's no alcohol no this is very pleasant yeah I'm not getting any type of 
alcohol, and ethanol think, burn. I think most tequilas have that peppery flavor. They do, but it varies. And this yeah. one's pretty strong. But now, the thing with tequila to me is you don't get that strong ethanol on the aroma, but then when you drink it, it's like... <laughs> this is not bad, though. It does got the strong peppery on your... Yeah, um, oh wow. It's very peppery. It's also a little oily, so there's a little thickness to it. Yeah, the viscosity of it is mm -hmm. kind of like... And it's got, to me, it's got a strong pepper lingering effect. I, I don't know that I would ever be able to drink this straight, but it definitely would add a lot of... Um, I know flavor to a margarita. Yeah. I think there's two of us in this room that could drink this straight. Well, I could drink it straight. <laughs> I just don't know if I like it. Hmm. Interesting. And where did you end up finding this? So this one I bought in Louisiana at my favorite uh, discount liquor store. So it said $20.95 or $20.99 online. Um, but I got this for $9.99. There's a honey hole of mine in Louisiana that I don't really want to promote because then, you know, everybody would know about it. You'll have to capture him and torture him to find out yeah. where he's at. Uh, my wife and I recently went to Louisiana to do some more shopping for liquor. Research? Yeah, well, to find more liquor. But we didn't go to where the honey hole was. We went to another town and... We found a lot of good deals, but not as good as your honey hole. Yeah, I'll take you one day. And the studio audience is all. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? I, I like it. Okay, so it's obviously not a horrible thing that we wouldn't recommend. Um, but is it a pretty good, but not really go out of your way to buy it? Because there's other things that you would rather get than this. Or is it like, wow, we really have to have this? If it's in the local liquor store, liquor store for ten bucks. Oh, even <laughs> the thirty bucks would be like, it'd be good enough to be on my shelf. So here's my problem: is um, don't really have a lot of tequila. So I think if I were to buy a tequila, it'd have to be something new, so I can try it. Like I'm just now to the point that I'll start rebuying whiskeys, like. It's you will be surprised to know that I went to the liquor store and bought Bullet 10 Year because we were out. So we had to replace uh, it. It was an excellent, excellent price at the new store that uh, I've been telling you about. And so I had to pick it up. And so we're down to, I think, the 12 year and we're done with the Bullet collection because they have a 12 year. Um, but yeah, I'm to that point where I'll start buying repeat bottles, which I really wasn't in. But with tequila, I don't think I would. Still want to buy something new. Repeat bottles because yeah. you're running out of stuff to buy? <clears throat> I still have partial empty wall. I'm knocking that window out right there and <laughs> putting more shelves. I'm blowing that wall out about 40 feet and putting more shelves. <laughs> what the camera doesn't see is I do have a lot of stuff on that wall. All right, so yeah, this is... Uh, I like it. Anos. Tequila, so 100 years is, I guess that's what it's called, 100 años, um, for 30 bucks from the Sousa. I definitely would recommend it. Um, definitely got that peppery to it. So cheers. I like it. Oh, I guess cheers. I should say all the necessities. We got merchandise, right? YouTube. You're not wearing any merchandise? No. I... So we do have merchandise. Um, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And make sure you hit the like and subscribe and share it. So. All right. Cheers. Laters.